ever wanted to be really good at taking minutes? No, me neither. So I just record meetings, and here's why you should too. I'm Stuart Taylor from Influential PMO, and I release new project management videos every weekday, sometimes more often. If that's your kind of thing, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Record your meetings, especially if you're the one responsible for taking notes, minutes, or capturing actions and decisions. There are these people out there that are really good at taking minutes. They sit there with a pen and pad and just jot down so much information. For them, it's simple, listen and write. But if you're participating beyond just note taking, then your mental focus is split. Listening and writing and assessing and categorizing what you're hearing so that you can identify when you may be called on. This evaluation slows down the listening and the writing as you're actually distracted. So you end up writing less. But if you're writing less than everything, then you have to focus even more intently to make sure you're writing down the most relevant points. This can be difficult in discussions that go back and forth with options being considered, delegates changing their minds and so on. By the end of the meeting, you'll have wrote a list of contradictions with only the very last statement being the one worth keeping. Not a great use of time and energy. So I record meetings. I always announce that I'm doing so and I assure the audience that the recording will be destroyed after the meeting notes have been approved. Recording in person can be easily done with a phone on the table, but if teleconferencing is being used, as it is often the case these days, then most professional systems have a recording service with them. Some of them even auto-transcribe the discussion, and whilst they're not perfect yet, they're certainly worth having a look into. So now I follow the pack like every other delegate in the meeting, but I jot notes when actions are being assigned, decisions are being made, and key points are being raised, along with the time so that I can easily find the details in the recording. The downside now is I have to spend time after the meeting listening to the same meeting again. So this could be considered a waste of time, but it's surprising how much you pick up from the recording that you didn't notice in the moment. So there is some real value in that. Also, you have more reliable records. In the event of the minutes being contested, you can always refer back to the recording. This is a huge help in those situations where the delegates remember what they wanted to say rather than what they actually did say. Let me know in the comments if you're going to try recording meetings in the future and then let me know how it goes. In my experience, my bosses have always been happy with the minutes and the meeting notes that I've produced when using this approach, so they don't tend to object. And if you want to improve any other aspects of your meetings, you should check out some of the other meeting related videos on my channel. They'll help you a lot, I'm sure.